After a breakthrough season, going to a bowl game and finishing 7-6, and six, UNLV can't go bowling this year. They're ineligible, but they still have a good enough team where they should have a good year. I'm Pete Futak for Campus Insiders, and we're breaking down the 2014 UNLV Rebels. Here's what you need to know to be an expert. Oh, you're a clever one. The key to UNLV this year is going to have to be motivation. They can't go to a bowl game, but they got to keep that fire going. The other big important key is going to be third down defense. The problem, though, is they lose a ton of talent off that front seven. They get all four starters back in the secondary, but third down stops is going to be the key to their season. Last year, they were great at doing most of the little things right, but the D just couldn't get off the field. Offenses converted on 48% of their third down chances, and UNLV was 117th in the nation in third down defense. They got to D that up a little bit. Doug Chapman, who's their guy to watch out for? Whoa. Pete, my surprise players running back Shaquille Murray Lawrence. Guy has three first names, so he should be pretty good. He backed up Tim Cornette last year, put the ball on the ground too much, just why he didn't see the field. Cornette's gone, so it's now Murray Lawrence's show. He's a lot more explosive, smaller, but faster back. They're going to need him for an offense that can only manage just under 5.5 yards per play on offense. Watch out for him this season. Now let's look at the schedule. The key is getting through the first half of this schedule. They got to deal with Arizona, they got to deal with Northern Illinois non-conference play, and then they got to dive into the Mountain West. The problem there, they got to go to San Diego State, they got to go to San Jose State, they get Fresno State at home, and then they got to go to Utah State. It's going to be a killer to start the year, but if they can get through this, the back half is all right. New Mexico, Air Force, at Hawaii, and Nevada. That's not that bad wrapped around a trip to BYU. So again, if they can get through the first half, it should be an okay season. Doug Chapman, what do you think they're gonna do? Choose wisely. Pete's gonna be a rough season for UNLV. My pick is one and 11. It's gonna be a tough year. They're gonna jump out the gate. They've gotta play at Arizona. And then once the losses start to pile up, remember, this is a team that's not going to a bowl game. They're on probation, and when they get two to three losses in a row, you're going to have guys that tank it. They lost some seniors, lost some leadership, but I see a 1-11 season. But the good news is, guess what? You're in Las Vegas, so 1-11 shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, but they're college kids in Las Vegas. They don't have any money to get anything with this. I, they're going to be better than 1-11. I think, don't think they're going to go in the tank or anything like this, but you are right. They do have to get past this first tough part of the season, and they got to stay motivated through the second half, and yet they do get to go to Hawaii. That's almost like a bowl game. I'm Pete Futak for Campus Insiders. We're breaking down every Mountain West team.